we moved to Forney in 1960 and Jerry Griffin was one of the very first people that came to visit us on our farm and visited my dad regularly for the next 50 years and Brother Jerry was my pastor there from 30 years and in 1962 I had the privilege to be baptized by Brother Jerry. So it's a pretty strong connection. Miss Helen was my sixth grade English teacher. There were several of us that became very good writers and were very good with English. I just remember Miss Griffin was one of the most dedicated people at what she did. And you could tell even as a sixth grader who didn't have a long attention span. And uh, we have seen the leadership in this school district be just as dedicated as the Griffins. And for them to provide this type of facility for education for the students is amazing to me. This is coming from somebody that uh, never went to an air-conditioned classroom until the 11th grade, and we had one air-conditioned typing room back then. So to see all this, how magnificent it is, all the uh, opportunities that are available for the students, it, it just is, uh, it warms my heart to see this, and it makes me think that there's a bright future ahead for our education here in Forney. His impact on the community was being a pastor or a shepherd to everyone, no matter uh, your belief, no matter who you were. Uh, Brother Jerry was that person that would be there in time of need. And I think that why this space and this school should be dedicated, uh, Brother Jerry and Helen, is because of their impact on the community and on the children that have grown up here. Uh, there's so many people that Helen taught in school that still have those fond memories of her. Well, of course, we grew up here and went to church at First Baptist, and as a little girl, uh, I knew them then. Um, and to honor these two people with this just is, is the sweetest thing. It brings a smile to our face. And uh, I worked for Miss Helen. She was one of my elementary school teachers. And uh, I was a little scared of her because she was very strict. And when I went in the building that day and they told me I was gonna work for her, I said, oh no, I gotta be on my best behavior and work hard. She uh, ran that reading lab perfectly, taught me so much um, how to do a job and do it well. And she had all the confidence in the world in me. I didn't have any, but she did. And she was fun to work for. If these kids and teachers knew uh, what's out there, <laughs> uh, I would love for them to learn all they can in their books all they can, science and math and reading and spelling. I loved it. And if they could learn all that, but besides that, if they could get that gentleness, kindness, um, soft-spoken, um, humble, and when they walked out of here and to take it from a song, what a wonderful world it would be. This is an honor that we never dreamed would be ours. It's really, it's been a wonderful experience and to let people, let us know that people really loved us and, and think of us highly. Yeah, the main feeling of my heart, our hearts, is uh, gratitude. We're so grateful that this honor has been given us. We feel very unworthy. You know, the great biblical word is grace. We, we just thank everybody. We, we are so grateful to the school administration, and the school board, and the entire community that uh, has bestowed this honor upon us. 